Hey there, I know that it's been a couple of days, but I wanted to share with you some routines for fitness. Now mind you, I don't use these anymore, but this is for you who do. You start with the wheelchair. I once had to use this. I had to sit in here because my muscles and my nerves just would not function. But it didn't mean that I was going to be stuck in this forever. Now that doesn't mean that I didn't think so. In my mind, I even went to the doctor and asked him for a signature stating that I was wheelchair bound. I was ready to be wheelchair bound for the rest of my life. That does not mean you have to be. Obviously, since I just set it up right in front of you. The fact of the matter is you can exercise and build up out of the wheelchair if you choose to. As a fellow fibromyalgia sufferer, I do understand because I now live a low to no pain life and that's what I want for you. Okay, so we start with the wheelchair. Simple basic exercises. You notice how I'm laying my hand on the armor, my arms on the armrest. You don't necessarily need those. Yeah, you might think so, but you don't. So simple basic movements with your arms and your wrists and just bending them just in, just a little bit even one two three and done that might hurt a little bit that's okay hurting a little bit is fine hurting a lot you need to stop okay next is building up your arms stretching out just stretch out and let them Feel a little bit of pain, not to the point you can't tolerate it. Maybe you can only do it once, and then wait a few minutes, and then do it again, and then wait a few minutes. The goal is to do this at type of stretch at least three times, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, once in the evening, and progressively until you do it regularly. Okay? Another one, moving your head side to side. Moving it around in circles and doing this two to three times a day, the same way you're exercising your arms. Just roll it around once, roll it around, and each side is one time. Then again, that's two. And then again, that's three. Stop, especially if you're starting to feel dizzy or lightheaded, you need to stop and let it calm down. This might be a little bit of time, this might be only a few moments, but you've got to keep it moving, okay? As soon as you don't feel the pain, start it again, okay? Yeah, I sound like a redundant record, but the truth of the matter is you really need to work these things out, okay? Now next is to move the back. You want to make sure you're straightened, okay? So as much as it hurts, you want to straighten that back out. Make sure it's straight, and then flex. Straight, and pull your arms back, because it actually will fix on your um, shoulder blades, and it will exercise them. Will this ache? Possibly. Will this hurt? Possibly. I'm not saying they won't. I'm saying that you need to focus in on getting a little bit of pain. That's okay. A lot of pain, stop. And then once it relaxes, do it again, okay? This is all while you're in your wheelchair, remember. And the next thing is, when you're in your wheelchair, to lift up your legs. And I know you can't see this, but just basically lift up your legs. And even with your hands, lift up your leg. One, two, three. That might ache a little bit. That's okay might hurt a little bit and that's okay too. You're reminding your nerves to function. Then you do the same with the other leg. One, two, three. Still keep exercising. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is just a basic exercise for while you're in a wheelchair. 
The reason I sit in this wheelchair is so that you can see that there is no excuse for this, staying in the wheelchair, especially if you have significant pain or significant challenges with walking. Now mind you, I'm in my PJ, so it really doesn't matter what you're wearing. If you, and I know that most fibro sufferers, most chronic pain sufferers, need to wear relaxed fit clothing. It's perfect, okay? That's why I show you this particular video with sitting in the wheelchair, okay? Now next, I'm not even going to cancel out this part of the video because I want you to work on getting out of the wheelchair and standing up. Okay? So, I'm going to pull up this wheelchair. Put it to the side. Yeah, I can do that now. I couldn't do that only a couple of, only, well, a few years ago. Anyhow, so now see, I'm standing up. Does it hurt on occasion? Yes. Do I get dizzy sometimes? Yes. But that's okay. You just take a moment and let your body set itself back into gravitational pulls. Okay? Next. The walker. How many of you use the walker? The same rules apply. And I'm not going to go into such major detail but I am going to go into detail about those exercises because they are so essential, okay? I used a walker for over a year. I was in the wheelchair for about a year. Walker was, in, I want to say about a year, it could have been a little bit longer. But still, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get away from a walker because the same rules apply. Stretch out and down. Now mind you, you can do this in the wheelchair too. Up and down. Now mind you, I'm flexing my wrists at the same time. Up and down. 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 Now if you ache at all, that's okay. Just hold on to the walker. If you're in the wheelchair, that's still an excellent exercise to be doing. Okay? Now I'm going to go back to some alert exercise that we did in the wheelchair. Stretch out and back. Stretch out and back. 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 Now mind you, I did that three times. That's what I want you to do. Does it mean that it's going to cause a little bit of pain? Possibly. Take it slow, take it easy, and do this three times a day. Or a little bit more as the pain subsides, do it again. Pain subsides, do it again. The goal is to be doing this on a regular basis to the point that you're being able to function with low to no pain. Now this is just the top part. Now, something that I also didn't show you in the wheelchair is twisting. Twist. Now mind you in the wheelchair, you're sitting and you're twisting. But when you're in your walker, you can hold on to it and twist. And twist. Now mind you, you're exercising both your arms and your torso, including your shoulder blades and your back. So we do this one more time. Time, a total of three times. Now everything I do here is a goal of three times. You want to do this three times and try for more than three times a day, but I recommend highly doing three times a day. Now next, one, two, three. Just basic lifting. That's all I'm saying. Will you feel it? Yes. Is it okay? Yes. And keep going. Because this is how you're going to get your mind to remember it's okay to move. And then just straight out like you're doing a march. Straight out like you're doing a march. Now mind you, I'm not holding any of these. I'm just straight out and march. Okay? 
Now you can push your foot straight out or you can flex it. Put it at an angle and out. Go with the feeling of your legs. If they're feeling achy, just lift them out like you're doing a march. If you feel stronger, do it at an angle. It'll give yourself a little bit more nudge into your leg muscles and reminding them to move. Now you can also get fancy here and bend backwards. Just bend backwards. Now if you're feeling it, just take a breather. But that's a really good exercise to get the front parts move front of your legs moving. Just to the back. That's it. Now graduated from the walk. You don't need the walker anymore. Maybe you're on a cane. A cane means that you're that much closer to being without anything. I have, can't count the number of canes that I've seen laying on the, uh, the, the tables of a restaurant or in a store against a, a, a shop or something. It tells me that people are actually getting ready to lose their cane. If not, they leave their cane completely. It's some plan A to say, oh, it's okay to lean on one side or the other. Okay? I'm not saying canes are wrong. I'm saying they're an assist. That's all they are. They are classified in the medical terminology as a medical aid. An aid for walking. That extra assistance. Okay? But with the walker, I'll use the wheelchair side to kind of give you an example. Okay, just stretch. Hold on to your cane. Stretch. Stretch. Twist. Hold on to that cane edge. That's fine. But you want to twist. And then to the side. Try to the side. You can even do that in the walker. Just try to the side. Now if you can do it in a wheelchair, that's awesome. Just to the side, okay? And this is all just one side, okay? And then up, two, three. Now mind you, I'm just going, I'm not, I'm not shifting around. I'm shifting just up, okay? One, two, three. Now mind you, my foot's like this. Now when it's at an angle, one, two, three. Now, that's all one side. Then we simply take the cane to the other side and you do the same thing. One, two, three. Now you can even reach over your head. That's an awesome practice. Just reach over your head. Now mind you, I just shift it there and shift. Two, three. Okay. And then one, two, three. And if you want to, shift two, two, three. And then up, one, two, three. Now with this side for me, I can't do the angle because I have another injury that has no relationship to the fibromyalgia. But if you can do that angle, you know the just the angle part, do it. The reason I can't is because I ruined my ankle many, many years ago. It has nothing to do with fibromyalgia and I actually have a surgery set up for that. So now I'm gonna move the wheelchair so that I can show you. Now you're standing tall. You're standing firm. No wheelchair, no walker, no cane. But you feel achy still on occasion. You feel those pains on occasion. Well, honey, darling, I got you. That's not a problem. Now, in this case, you do all of the exercises that I showed in the wheelchair, in the walker, on the cane, including the neck, wrapping it around three times, all that, yes. And then stretching out. But this time, do both arms at the same time. Not just one at a time. You can do both. Stretch over your head and stretch, stretch, stretch. 
stretch, 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 stretch. Just three times, okay? And then twist. Two. Remind you, I've just done that three times. Nothing major, okay? And when you're standing, you go a little bit further, okay? Now, one, two, three. And mind you, you can do it flat or angle. In this case, I did it flat or angle. In this case, I'm doing it straight. One, two, three. Now, something that I've learned that you can choose to do in a walker or on a cane is that you go at an angle and you bend your knee and you just press and press and press. Now you are adjusting your ankle a little bit so I can't do it as much as I would like on my right side, but I did it exceptionally on my left. <clears throat> just do that three times. You're basically reminding your muscles and your legs to wake up. That's all. And again, three times a day is the goal. Optimal is five. And on top of this, is include basic walking, the movement to get around the house, do basic chores, and do basic everything. Now, I do have a course to add to this to say you've got your limits and you need to work on a schedule and boundaries for yourself. Okay? But that's another situation. Boundaries are always key. So I'm going forward with that same exercise of moving with the knee curve and just stepping forward. I can't do it so good with my right side, but I'm still doing that, okay, curve. And just do this three times. And then you wanna go at straight in an angle. One, two, three. Let me see if I can fix this. I want to see if you can see this too. Let's see here. Ha ha, you can. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. And an angle that I was talking about is like this. Two, three. Angle. Again, I wish I could do this better with this leg, but situations beyond my control and then lift behind that's at an angle two three angle one two three and straight back one two three one two three okay and then bend down as far as you can one, up, two, up, three, up. Now I'm gonna lift you back up here. So I'm just gonna explain to you that even though you have these health issues that are causing pain, chronic fatigue, it's okay. Doing these exercises will help you get stronger in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. All things will come together, but you have to take it one slow step at a time. Mild workout is an excellent start.